All right, so are you next in the series. What are we doing next in the series? We're gonna make a fast like Mexican beans yeah. instead of just putting like a can of beans like on the burrito or whatever. I just we're just gonna saute some onion and garlic and peppers. Throw a little bit of Mexican seasoning in it. Throw the beans in there. Stir it up. And cook, thicken them up a little bit. And there you go. You got a side dish. Without this, I'd be eating out of the can with a spoon. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> I have seen it. Are we going? Yeah, let's, let's, let's go make it. Alright, so uh, what do we got here? This is uh, our beans for our Mexican epic world championship heavyweight belt burritos. I'm just going to do simple, simple Mexican style flavored bean. I'm going to use pinto beans because I like pinto beans a lot. Onion, garlic, serrano, cumin and oregano. I'm going to put some cilantro in at the end and salt. That's all you need. Well, maybe a little lime. Put a little lime in it if you want. And you forgot the most important part. And some love. Some love. Some love. I gotta, I gotta start making it, right? Yeah, what's going on? Just throw the one whole onion. Good. Just throw it in there. Yeah. Okay. I'll get down here. <clears throat> get a... This is, we're just gonna do one can of a uh, small can of, well, not small. This is like normal size can of beans because that's what we have. You could do a big can. If you do a big can, scale up the other There's stuff. Two cans. They normally use two cans, I think. I don't know. But we have a lot of other stuff that's going on in this burrito lentils and other stuff. I think this is enough beans for today. If you're gonna make a lot, though, you could definitely do more than one can. If you don't like onion or cilantro or garlic or serranos or any of the stuff that's in this recipe, why are you watching it? Like, I use this is like in every single recipe we have the same ingredients almost, but slightly different. Let's cut up this pepper. You know, to cut it up, I'm just gonna slice it kind of thin. Garlic. I'm gonna press this again too because we just used it and I cleaned it out. And that's it. We can start. All right. We're gonna make our beans now. These take like five or less than ten minutes to make. So I'm gonna get my. You got about half power. I'm only doing one can of beans, so I'm using like this ten. I think this is a ten-inch nonstick skillet. It's not very deep, but this is plenty of space for one can of beans. If you do more than one or a big can, use like a little saucepan, medium-sized saucepan. It's perfect. Let's go ahead and put some oil in it. Uh, maybe a tablespoon or two. I don't measure my oil. I'm an oily guy. As you can, yeah, as you can see. Day. As you can see. <laughs> I got a new oil. I got my lotion guy. We're not gonna drain these beans. We want the juice because we're gonna cook it. You know, we're gonna cook it down a little bit. So some oh, of it, some of that water is so gonna cook out. Drain them. Yeah. Okay. It depends. Well, it depends how much juice is in this can. I guess. You have lots of juice. Maybe drain a little bit. Oh, this is good. Some of those brands. Looking at you, Whole Foods, yeah. you put like an excess amount of juice and there's like little beans because you're trying to rip people off. This is good. All right, this is decently warm. We're gonna dump our onions in and our serrano. Together, huh? Yeah, I always dump them together. They cook about at the same rate, so. And plus, if you overcook the pepper a little bit, it's actually really good. When you wow. char the pepper a little bit, it tastes pretty good. So, let's spread that out like that. We're going to bring it to where they're translucent. Once it's translucent, we're going to throw our garlic in and then our cumin and oregano and then pour our beans in and a little bit of salt, stir it, cook it for a few minutes and then taste it. It should be pretty good. And then we're going to pull, pull it off the heat and throw our cilantro in. And then that's it. Okay. Maybe a little lime. I might get out of lime. We'll see. All right, those are looking all right. They're somewhat translucent and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and dump in my other seasonings. Do cumin first. I'd probably do about a half quarter to half a teaspoon I'd say probably half a teaspoon try to pour it if you do it directly in the pan like I do it without stirring all the stuff in try to pour it on top of the onions and stuff and not directly into the pan because it'll cook really fast and it could burn oh. you don't want that flavor in there maybe about a pinch two decent sized pinches of oregano stir that around it should smell pretty uh, herbaceous in here now oh yeah Oh, I forgot the freaking garlic. 
Yeah, uh, remember your steps. We've got a lot of stuff going in here, filming everything. That's all right if I did that. Garlic cooks at about the same rate, so a little bit of garlic. Okay. If you're using the taco seasoning, well, do like about half a, half a, I'd say maybe a teaspoon of it. Teaspoon okay. and a teaspoon and a half, maybe. All right, we're going to go ahead and dump our beans in. Juice and all. When we're about done, uh, taste for seasoning. If it doesn't really taste like anything, add some salt. Your beans may not have any salt in them. Mm. Some beans are really salty already in the can. Now uh, we're just gonna let this come to like a simmer for about five minutes or so, then taste it. I'm gonna put a little more cumin because I didn't put enough in the first step. So this is probably about close to a half, three quarters of a teaspoon, and then about a quarter of a teaspoon of oregano in total. Okay. If you use my seasoning, about a teaspoon of that seasoning, I think is enough for this can of beans. Okay. Teaspoon to two teaspoons. So yeah. I'm gonna give it a, it's pretty good. I'm gonna give it a taste for uh, salt. So I'm gonna grab one of these out of here. Come here, come here. You have to describe what you're doing here. Taste them for salt. It's pretty good. Let me get a little bit of the juice. Oh yeah, definitely has a lot of seasoning. Like cumin and stuff. I can definitely taste that. I might add just a pinch of salt. This is pretty good. I'm going to turn it off. We're going to add our cilantro to add our beans. When it's off the heat, because if it's hot, like cilantro turns kind of black. It's not as attractive looking. We want it to be bright and green. And that's... Basically it. You can add a little lime, but I don't have one. I think I'll just put lime on, on our burrito. We'll squeeze it on that. But we have them, you just have them cut up. Yeah. That's... See, it's already starting to turn black because it's still hot. See that? Uh-huh. So, that just adds, looks so good. Adds a little brightness. Let me try some. Yeah. Oh, those are good. All right. And that's it. Oh, they're smoky, spicy. So, oh, they're so good. There's nothing smoky in them. Though. I don't know. All right, oh, this, no. Smoky is happening, man. It's the cumin, probably, because we're right. toasted. All right, All right. So. Now we're done with that. We're going to make wok.